Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be detailing this 2018 Toyota Sienna. Yeah, it's a family car. It is messy, it is has stained there and there, but it's actually not that bad. Just need a good cleanup and it should be back to this good look. Let's go take a look around. Take a look inside the vehicle. Yeah, that's a trash crumbs everywhere. The trash and mess just keeps going on and on. All the seats are dirty also as well. You can't expect too much from a family car. It's always going to get trash. Who knows how long this dust be sitting there. Even the door jams are all covered up with dirt and grime. Car is covered up with dirt and dust. This car definitely needs a wash. Alright guys, you guys saw the mess. I'm excited to detail this car to make it look new again. So stay until the end of the video to see an amazing transformation. So no further ado, let's just get started. Alright, first I'm gonna take out the person item off the vehicle before I start my processing of vacuuming. When working on a van, make sure the middle seat comes out because you guys will be surprised what you can find under the seats. I am using a microfiber dust collector to wipe off any dust. Using an air gun and a soft brush to brush off any loose dirt and dust off the surface. All I gotta say is, using an air gun to blow off any dirt and dust off the vehicle does save you a lot of time and does make the job easier. After blowing everything off the vehicle, especially when blowing under the seats to get more of the trash out, something that I couldn't get with my vacuum does help out a lot. After vacuuming, I'm going to start by spraying solution to the carpet and agitate with a drawer brush then extracting the carpets.
When I look at all the carpets, it's actually not that bad, but I still could use a good cleaning. I was very surprised that the floor mat has stains but it didn't leak through the floor mat onto the carpet to leave any stains so I was very surprised. It does make my job easier too. After agitating and extracting the carpets, man this carpet looks so clean and new again. Just so you know, all the products I use in the video are linked in the description below, so make sure you check that out.
When doing the floor map, same process, spray solution, agitate with the drill brush, then extracting the carpets. But using a pressure washer does help a lot to get the stains out. When I clean the leather seats, I use all-purpose cleaner and agitate with the drill brush but make sure to not press very hard on the leather because you could burn it. That's something I just want to point out.
after everything is all cleaned out inside and all dried out, I'm gonna start pouring everything back inside the vehicle and start my process of washing the vehicle. Gonna start by rinsing off the vehicle first to loosen any loose dirt and grime off the vehicle before soaking it. While the car is soaked up, I'm gonna quickly go around each corner gap with a detail brush to lose any loose dirt and grind off the vehicle that I could have missed with my pressure washer.
Now apply 303 Aerospace Protection. This stuff works pretty good. It doesn't leave any residue or anything. When it's all matte dry, it makes your car look really new and nice and shiny. So I highly recommend this product. So definitely check that out. I'm applying ladder conditioner to all the seats to keep her nice and smooth. Alright guys, after 8 hours of working this car, I finally done. This car looks so fresh and clean. Looks like I just came out of the showroom. Customer going to be so happy after all that clean out. If you guys enjoyed video like this, make sure you hit the subscribe if you haven't. Give it a thumbs up, turn on the notifications so you can see when my next video goes on live. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.